Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is TTM Collector 21 coming at you with an in person autograph recap for the Gwinnett Braves at the Scranton Wilkes Barre Rail Riders for July 30th, 2014. Got a total of 40 to 41 autographs, I believe. Um, Gwinnett's a hard team to graph. Uh, they're not the best team in the world. They don't have the best players in the world either, so I wouldn't graph them if I were you, if you had a choice between two teams. But, uh, yeah. I just personally don't think they're the best team in the world to graph. So uh, here's my Yankees team sheet. The pitchers were warming up down the left field line. So I went to go get some pitchers before the game. Got Antoine Richardson, Carmen Angelini, Rob Riff Riff Snyder, Tyler Wade, Nick Turley, Pat Vendetti, Brian Mitchell, Bruce Billings, and I do not know that one. If you could help me with that one, that, one, that would be great. I need some help with my Braves team sheet. I got Constanza up there, Jose Constanza. Don't know that one. Don't know that one. That one's Pedro Bito. That one's Gus Gloser. That one's Cody Martin. Don't know that one. That one is Edward Saladino, and that one's Todd Cunningham. So those three I told you I need help with. Anyone who grabs them a lot, please help out. Got three Rail Riders team set cards done. Got Corbin Joseph. Came out streaky. May take it off and just get it re-signed. Jim Miller. And Adonis Garcia. Alright, now some for some more cards. Got Taylor Dugas on three of, three of seven, actually. Only signed three for some reason. I'm not complaining, though. Got Jose Perella on one. Ozzy Martinez on two. He actually sprained his hand during the game, so he couldn't sign after the game. Pedro Beto on three. Really like his autograph. I got this really sick refractor sign, too. Kanuki Teixeira on two. Steven Laird on two. Joey Chalakovich on one. Jose Constanza on three. Very nice guy. Probably the nicest on the team. He went four for four when I was there. And Tyler Pasternicki, who is a huge dick. All right, I got one ball signed to by the best player. I think the 84th best prospect in baseball right now. Christian Bethencourt, he kind of signed it sideways, but what can you do? It's still an autograph. I've seen worse from him, so I'm not complaining. And he's one per, doesn't sign before the game, only signs after, if at that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and then there were also these guy rails today that had Jose Perella that I actually got him to sign before the game because there's a funny story behind this. There's what the whole thing looks like. I have like six of these now. But um, since the pitchers were warming up, I was walking over to go get some pitcher autographs, and I was carrying a few of the, these guide rails. And I hear someone behind me go, hey, buddy, come over here. So I look behind me. Who is it? It's Jose Perella talking on the phone. So I go over to him, and he's like, can I see that? I'm like, sure. And he looks at the guide rail. He's like, wow, this is awesome. I'm like, yeah, do you want to keep one? And he's, yeah, like, sure. I'm like, can you sign this for me? He's like, yeah. So uh, it was pretty cool. And then after the game, I got him again, and he thanked, He was carrying out the guider, and he thanked me again for giving it to him. So uh, th that's just some of the cool stories that happen when you're graphing. Uh, those cool things like that happen all the time when you graph, and those are just things that you remember forever. So, yeah, um, the question for the end of this video is, who do you think is going to be the like best prospect from the Grant Wilkes Square Rail Riders team? Like, who's going to have the longest MLB career out of all of them? I think there's two in my mind that are going to do well in the MLB. Rob Riff Snyder and Jose Perella. I mean, Perella is just tearing it up right now. He's played the whole year in AAA, and he's still batting, like, in the 300s. And <clears throat> Riff Snyder's done amazing. I think that Taylor Dugas is going to have a good career in the MLB, too. I think he, he'll be more of a utility, but, yeah. I don't think uh, Romine's going to do too much. J.R. Murphy, I don't really know about him, either. I think he'll he'll be solid, but 
Uh, he hasn't been playing that well. He's been hit playing better as, as of late, but um, hasn't played well over the course of the year. But yeah, please answer my question and make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.